Hey everybody, it's the Boss Lady here coming to you with a DIY that I'm trying to do. So, whew, all I can say is let's get to it. <laughs> um, so, you've seen in my thrift haul, I had picked up some of these glittered pumpkins. I got orange and I got uh, black. I also picked up some orange glittered uh, ribbon from Michael's. And I am going to do my own style of uh, three-tiered pumpkin, what are they called here, uh, topiary. And so, um, I had some ideas that I wanted to use. Um, I went thrifting and I found everything at the thrift store pretty much outside of the ribbon. So I kind of started messing with some things just so um, I can kind of get a feel for what I'm going to do. Um, I did take the handles off the, the little uh, buckets here. So there's no um, handles on here. Um, I put a, this is a, uh, what do you call it, four flowers, little flower uh, sponge in here so that I can you know adhere the the pumpkins too as well as I'm also going to add a little bit of this moss and so it's like Spanish moss and this is from the Dollar Tree so this is stuff that I've already had on hand as well as the little sponges I had those on hand too I was going to use these um what are these called uh, I was going to use the floral supports because they, they actually said pretty flesh in there, but you can see the greenery, so I decided not to use these ones. Um, so I'm going to use the, the little sponges instead. So I already taken off one of my uh, stems, so I'm going to go ahead and add the moss to this and then um, start putting things together here. I have my glue gun heating up over here next to the microwave, so we'll see if we can get this done in 10 minutes or less. So I'm not using a whole, whole lot, just a little bit. Um, of course, it's getting all over the table, but that's okay. <laughs> uh, Got to get a little messy, right? So just to kind of cover it up and make it look a little more, hmm, I don't know, just a little different, I guess. Um... And as you can see on this particular bucket, I've already put the, the ribbon through it. Um, just so, you know, because I wanted to thread it through and put a little bow on there. I thought it was kind of cute. So, yes, we're going to go ahead. I'm already putting the moss in here. I'm going to put the little phrase in there, too. That way it's a great way to clean it up. So add that to the top. And then let me get my trusty good glue here. Actually, what I'm going to do first, I'm going to... I was going to use skewers for this. I have some here, but mine are a lot longer and thicker. And so I didn't want to um, bust up the pumpkins trying to, you know, put them through there. And I didn't want to have to sit and try to break these either. So I'm actually going to use toothpicks. So I'm going to put two toothpicks in the little sponge. And then I'm going to stick the pumpkin on top. And actually, I probably should have stuck them in the pumpkin first. But... Let's go for it. So the first one is on there. So as you can see, I already got the first pumpkin on there. Um, and you see what happened. Toothpicks went all the way down. So I think that's probably why people use the skewers. So I'm going to try it with the skewers, see what happens. But I'm just worried that it's going to bust the pumpkin. So we'll see. This is trial and error for me because, uh, you know, boss lady's not that crafty. So I'm going to just use one as opposed to two. And let's see what happens. So I'm just going to stuff the, the flat bottom into the sponge, which it fits in just perfect. So that's great. And then here we go. Actually, this works great because with it being a thicker one, I can actually get the second pumpkin on no problem so there we go there you have it um, I am going to add a little bit of glue to here but I'll do that at the end so I got that one on there here's my black pumpkin I'm just going to take the little top off 
comes out pretty simple and go ahead and stick the black one on top so it looks great so far so good <laughs> so I'm gonna turn my TV down got the TV on sorry um let me try another skewer here and then this way I can get the last pumpkin on top and when I was looking at my pumpkins, some of them had some imperfections. And so um, I just kind of wanted to, I kind of wanted to, you know, use the ones that didn't look so bad. Now this one here, I'm just kind of looking, I'm going to have to push it down a little bit further. There we go. I just want to make sure that once I put this one on, I don't have this piece sticking through the top. Let's stick it down a little bit more. And it actually gives it just a little bit more reinforcement here too. There we go. All right. And I'm actually, I was going to take the top off of this one, but I'm going to leave this one on. And I'm just going to go ahead and stick it on. And hopefully it doesn't pop the top off. There we go. So great. So I'm going to pull it back some so you'll be able to see it. So that's how it looks so far. It looks a little bit off-centered, so I'm not going to glue it just yet. But that is the first one. So far, so good. Done. Um, I'm not completely done with it yet because I do want to add a few more little things to it. So let's see how it looks as I add things to it. Okay, so I got my glue gun here, and I'm trying to uh, use it without <laughs> pulling anything down. So I'm just going to add a couple beads of glue just to kind of hold things in place. In different spots here. So I'm just going to lift the, the pumpkins up just a little bit. So I just want to make sure that, you know, they're secure. Don't want me dropping my glue gun here, burning myself. I'm going to take this off and I'm actually going to try it in a different little spot. Just want to kind of push it over just a little bit. I'm going to add the glue up top first. That way it doesn't move around here. But so far, so good. It looks pretty good. <laughs> so I had a bouquet of orange and black little roses. And so I've taken them off the stem, as you can see. Here's the stems. So I took them off the stems. I could, probably could have used the, the little leaves, too. Not sure. Hmm. I'll keep messing with it and seeing what I like. But um, I'm going to take the roses and actually glue them to the top. So I'm going to move the camera back a little bit so you can see what I'm talking about okay so let's go ahead and start gluing these on here I'm trying not to get glue on this bucket here so I got one up there, you really can't see it, but I'll show you closer as I finish. I'm just going to take another one, just trying to see which one I want to use here. Some of the roses are kind of smushed from being in the bag.
trying to get to sit up here. Ooh, I got glue all on my finger now. <laughs> That's the only thing I don't like about crafting because since I do have long nails, um, sometimes the um, crafts kind of get in the way. So I'm not going to do flowers all the way around. I'm just going to put three on each because I'm only making uh, three or two top topiaries here. So I'm just going to uh, put the last flower up here. And then we'll move on to something else. And who knows, I might buy another bouquet and just add that last flower. It looks like I it looks like it, it looks better with four flowers as opposed to three. But it still looks pretty good here. So let me move it so you can see it now with the flowers on there. Um, and I'm also going to add some glue underneath here. Um, just so that it doesn't wobble because it's wobbling a lot and I don't want it to wobble when I move it. So I'm just going to add a little bit of glue in here just so it can, you know, be stuck. There we go. And I'll just hold it for a minute. There. It's a little more secure. Whew. Okay, well... Let me get my other little decoration. So I got this other little um, pick or whatever. And it has little spiders on it. Little orange and green spiders and little balls. And so I'm also going to add these to the topiary. And I thought about just adding just the orange one. But I kind of like the effect of having the green ones on there too. So I'm just going to cut these off the stem. Cause I don't think they, oh, they slide off. Great. So I'm going to add this to the top here. I thought about adding it kind of going down the, down the um, pumpkin. So trying to get a feel for, do I want it on the pumpkins or not? <laughs> I kind of like them on the pumpkin. What you guys think? See? But. And then we're going to just go ahead and add them to the flowers because that's where it actually was supposed to go anyway, at the top. So I'm just going to, let me move this here. I'm going to move it down so I can see what I'm doing. And I'll move you guys a little closer so you can see too. Okay. So I'm just going to add, and I, I was going to add the green as well, but I think we're just going to stick with the orange. So I'm going to put a little glue on here. And try not to burn myself and just add him actually to the top of the stem. And it looks pretty cool. So this is what it looks like on the top. And then like I said, got the bowl in the front here. And that is my topiary. So I hope you like this uh, DIY that I did. Um, I actually was going to um, I actually was going to bring this video to you later this weekend, but as I was sitting and watching, I figured I could get it done now. So this is my topiary. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. See you guys later. Bye bye.